This video briefly explains how the attacker broke down the assumed atomicity of the sandwich attack transaction bundle. The typical steps would be that searchers send a bundle through an API to builders and builders send all the block information to the relay. Then the relay would only send the block header to the validator. Note that this step sends no detailed transaction information to the validator. And then the validator would add some information like the fee receipt address and parent of the block. All the information needed to guarantee the block can execute successfully. Then add its signature. The relay then sends the information added from the validator to the consensus layer to broadcast. The consensus layer would pass the transaction request and the, the, and the relay would send all the complete transaction details at this step for the validator to execute the transaction. However, for the validator attacker, all the steps are the same from the searcher to the relay. However, the validator sends fake information instead of sending the correct information, like a fake parent block. Therefore, when the relay passes the information to the consensus layer, it will return an error to the relay at this step. Instead of noticing the validator passing incorrect information, the relay still passes the transaction's detailed information to the validator. Now that the validator knows all the details of what happened in that block, it puts its attack transaction just after the sandwich attacker's front run and builds its own block. The validator then passes the correct information of the block to the consensus layer and gets the permit from the consensus layer to execute the transactions. The validator exploits the relay bug to access detailed transaction information that is not supposed to be visible to the validator until after the consensus layer has passed. Here is the evidence of the error that the consensus layer passed to the relay. 